art is in the eye of the beholder, right? And <laughs> yeah. art, if, if anything, art is not necessarily maybe so much what like it looks like, but whether or not it stimulates thought and conversation. It depends mm-hmm. on what you think art is. And I think a lot of people see art as something that that is, you know, stimulating in some way, you know, and mm-hmm. that, that gets you, I mean, everybody's talking about this banana taped to a <laughs> canvas right well, it's getting people to talk that's yeah. what i'm saying so i feel like i feel that? like you're on to something here mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah yeah i know i'm really excited to do more with that but even besides you know something silly like that which is not really that silly i mean like i said it's actually gotten bought a lot of times on my channel and people it's got a really high um uh, percentage on you know the likes uh, like the like to dislike ratio and everything so People I, I was really TV. surprised because I was like, you know, I'm just going to put this out and see because it's not really, I don't know if it's something really going to be to. Oh, he's got the answer. Yeah, the answer. It's Maurizio uh, Catal- Catalin. What's it? Maurizio Catalans. Wow, I probably did not pronounce that right. Okay, cool. All right, Sounds now we know it's not a Banksy. I don't know. I used to be saying weird. I'm like, that's a Banksy shirt, right? <laughs> what do I know? Clearly, I'm not very well versed in the art world. But I was going to say, though, also besides doing the painting, I also did like reviews of toys, kind of, you know, how people mm-hmm. like review things on YouTube. Yeah. But I reviewed all these kind of weird toys that I never used before. Like I like my most recent video, which my boyfriend thinks is like one of my funniest and best like kind of YouTube-esque videos is we use this extender thing have you ever seen those it's like a sleeve that goes over the and it's is it kind of like a pump does it like pull out no it's it's kind of like you put it over uh the hard and it kind of extends it has little bumps and stuff on it it kind of you know like oh. bad dragon has some weird ones that look like tentacles and stuff. Oh, I but. see. So the guy wears it and so it, okay, so it's something it's not, it doesn't extend the like physically. It just no. means that yeah. you have an extent. I got you. I got you. I got you. It's like a strap on for a guy. Yeah. Okay. And so I was on um I was on adamandeve.com on you know on their little toy section looking just at the most- By the way, if you oh, go to adamandeve.com oh, and nice. you put- you get 10 free gifts just saying okay go on awesome segue <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so yeah I was on there and I was looking at their most uh, highly rated toys and this was actually had hundreds of ratings or even maybe thousands of ratings and it was like a four and a half of five stars so I was like okay this thing must be good so I got it but I don't know it's it's not really made for it, it doesn't look like it's a one size fits all kind of thing. You know, it didn't come all the way down. Like the head of his didn't fit in there. So I was like, it must be for, cause I kind of enjoyed it. So I think maybe it's more of the females that were reviewing it, but he hated it. He, oh, but I don't know. Maybe but for a little a, bit of a smaller. Dick. I was going to say maybe his penis is too large for it. So yeah. someone who's, is he like pretty big? He's not, he's, he's not like super big or anything. But you know, he's that's, like, average or above average maybe a little bit above average but that's okay. the thing too is like i don't know how those things work i was really surprised that there's so many good ratings on that one though but i don't know i don't know that's what i'm saying that's what i really like about those review videos is because it's not really like it's kind of like raw and real it's just yeah, like kind don't... of testing something it's not like we're just sitting there like trying yeah. to be all like you know sexy or i don't know we we're just yeah. kind of going with it and then we ended up having to use like a ring to get through it and everything. I don't know, but it was, I don't know. It was a good time. It definitely turned out to be a great time. So. Well, I think that everything that you're talking about right now really speaks to how the public has a hunger for things that are real and things that are authentic mm-hmm. and things that feel like really show who you are as a person. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, everybody, the, the internet is inundated with fantasy and like professionally filmed scenes mm-hmm. and, you know, the, the whole like fake situation and all that kind of stuff. So <laughs> I think what people really want is they want to see things that are, that are true and that mm-hmm. are real. And these platforms like, and, and even YouTube, if they allow you to post anything as an adult star, mm-hmm. allow people to see you as a person and mm-hmm. they feel like a more personal connection. And I think that people really respond to that. The thing is too, is, you know, cause I've been in the business, um, well, 
oh my gosh, it's over 12 years now. So I'm like, back then, you know, I was like about a year and a half before I even had a Twitter, you know, so there was really no social media when I started. There was only Facebook and MySpace. I don't even know if I even had a Facebook when I first started, but it's just like more and more stuff. And then there's so many and it's like, where do you even start? And then like, oh, I got to drive. Like, ah. all, like all of these whiny excuses, but I'm really happy that I jumped on board because, you know, like we were saying, that's what people really want more than anything, you know? Yeah. And so I think it's going to be really interesting to see how that like plays in with the yeah. industry in the coming years and yeah. with, the, with all the companies and everything. And Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.